Welcome to the Marin County Search and Rescue video training series. Our search and rescue skills are disposable, and whether the pager goes off at 2 in the afternoon or 2 in the morning, it's important that you're ready. We've put together this series of training videos to allow you to keep your skills sharp. Feel free to pause, fast forward, or rewind so that you can learn at your own pace. Remember, this is not a substitute for the real thing. It's important that you're still attending Monday night meetings and weekend trainings so you can get hands-on experience. A well-prepared searcher is a well-trained searcher, and a well-trained searcher is ready for a mission anytime, anywhere, in any weather. Hello, my name is John Chanel with Marin County Search and Rescue. Today I'm going to talk about the single most important component in a rescue rigging system, that's anchors. I'd like to talk about how to select suitable anchors, single point and multi-point. We'll start with single point anchors. That would include healthy, live trees, large rocks that are sturdy and embedded, and the possibility of vehicles if they're available. This I would consider to be a suitable single point anchor for a main or a belay line. We're going to attach to the single point anchor with a one inch tubular webbing, which is our standard in our cache. I will wrap three times, trying to keep the webbing fairly untwisted. and have enough at the end to tie a overhand knot or a water knot. Basically tie the overhand knot and follow it through in the reverse direction with your other end of your webbing. Creates a water knot. You end up with a water knot. What you want to do is grab the two pieces that are still wrapped around the tree. We call this a wrap three, pull two, and pull it towards you and work the knot towards the front of the tree or the direction of your focal point. Once you have the uh, webbing pulled tight towards the direction of your uh, rescue package, you are ready to clip in the carabiner, screw off the gate, and you're now ready to attach a mainline system. Here we have another variation in a single point anchor in a very large sturdy rock. We've tied two pieces of webbing around this because of the size of the rock. We've actually entered in some edge protection to protect the webbing from any sharp edges on the rock when it's loaded. So I will go ahead and attach the carabiner, lock off the gate, and we're ready to attach a mainline system. When we don't have a single point anchor, we have to rely on a multi-point anchor. Here we've selected a group of trees that neither one of them would be suitable as a single point anchor. We're, we've gathered them together with the same wrap three, pull two to create a distributive anchor that we will collect to a focal point towards our rescue package. Now I'm gonna collect it together Pull it tight and create an overhand knot that we will connect our rigging system to. Now we're ready to attach to our mainline package. This is another single point anchor system that we use. It's called a tensionless hitch or a high strength tie off. We've used 11 mil rope, wrapped it around the tree three times and connected to it with a carabiner. You want to make sure the carabiner stays loose, a little bit of slack in this end of the rope. The hitch actually operates on friction around the tree. Remember, anchors are the basis for a rescue rigging system. It's important that they're done properly. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found this training segment useful. Remember, it's essential that we keep our skills sharp through practice. Review this or any of the other videos to make sure that you're ready to go the next time the pager goes off. We have additional resources at our website, marinsar.org. Thanks for joining us.